It's not just in my time or my sweat and my tears An all-consuming fire Held me through these years A blast of love Power too great to see Has fallen on the altar And devoted me But I gotta, I gotta, I gotta say, we doing, we, we, we're doing very good. We're doing very good. Don't, do not be disappointed in yourself. Be encouraged in the Lord. All right, all right. So welcome. My name is Jamal Sanders, and today what I'm gonna do is an overview of the Devote brand. Now, the Devote brand does have paid services such as photography and videography, but make no mistake about it. The underlying cause of Devote is to do nothing less than to bring glory to God through His Son Jesus. Now, I want to say that there are a few areas that I focus on with this brand. The one that is the closest to my heart is the Bible studies. And the most recent success in that area is a virtual group reading weekly Bible study. And this creates this creates a situation where now the Lord gets involved and says, OK, if that's what you want, then that's where I'll send you. Right. Yeah, that basically that's so you base that's basically summing up what we just read, right? With yeah. Ahab and that's what he, that's basically what he was. He just wanted the words that tickled him, that tickled his what he wanted to hear. And that's where a small group of us got together. And rather than reading the Bible on our own and discussing it later, we would actually read the Bible out loud to each other just as it was. That was an important aspect of this. Because so many people who have received teaching on the Bible learned through the perspective of somebody else, but they never had the opportunity themselves to see what's written in the text and to do so in a way that doesn't skip around. We literally started at Genesis and at the present time we are in Second Chronicles chapter 20. Now, another successful aspect of that meeting was the fact that it was able to happen during the pandemic. Many church leaders were having trouble interacting with people in their congregations and people who were not in the habit of reading their Bibles at home were struggling to find out how to practice their faith without having a place of worship to attend. But because we had already practiced these things, we were able to continue during that difficult time when so many people were struggling. Another major area of focus that we would like to grow more in is in-depth documentaries. Now, documentaries are essentially when you condense a large topic into an organized piece so that people can understand the magnitude of an issue without spending all of their time researching it. So what you have is something that may have occurred over several lifetimes, and it needs to be boiled down into just 30 or 60 minutes. Within that 30 or 60 minute time frame, there could easily be anywhere from 100 to 200 clips, all that need to be processed individually, color graded and edited to make sure they look correct. Um, these these documentaries are typically uh, persuasive and educational. And I say that just so you have an idea about the tone of Devote, which is that we are not a neutral brand. Um, so I don't typically take on any projects that um, would not in some way support or at least accommodate healthy Christian values. And the documentaries tend to be those that will promote the better or longevity of such. So the overall process, the first step is to ask a question. And that means you see something and you ask yourself, why is this happening? The next thing is that you're really seeking God for answers. So I'm not just pulling down research papers and looking at YouTube videos and Googling things. This is an experience where we're actually praying and seeking God for guidance about that particular question. There are over 31,000 verses in the Bible that are part of the Christian faith. And despite this, street preachers tend to focus on just a few. What they all have in common? Hell, death, sin, and judgment. So I wanted to know, where did this form of street preaching come from? And who taught the street preachers to carry the message this way?
So there's research, there's writing, there's narrating, there's audio recording and voiceovers. There is the actual shooting of the footage. There is the organization of large amounts of content into a seamless timeline. And then there's the video editing process itself. And so I would always underscore the video editing component because a lot of people know that editing take to takes time. But even within the world of editing, there is there are levels to what extent one goes to to make sure that they have a quality product. Welcome, my name is Jamal Sanders, and today I'm using my platform to provide some education about what Halloween is, where it came from, and the path that it can lead to for its participants. During this presentation, we tend to not take the shorter path to ensure that the learner or the person who is engaging with our content has an experience that is enhanced. So a brand wouldn't be a brand without the basic necessity of some type of merchandise. Now, I'm very careful with this because I do not believe in selling merchandise along with ministerial content. You will not see a website with my Bible studies and then something for sale next to it. I see them as two separate things. Ministry content should never have a price tag attached to it. But just for purposes of identification for me personally, and to make sure that I have ways that people can be involved with what I'm doing, we did invest in classic snapback baseball caps and we outfitted them with Puff 3D embroidery, Devote brand and a leather teardrop. We could only get that done through a fantastic embroiderer in New Jersey, New York named Amaze. They're on Facebook. Everybody else told us that the design we wanted to do wouldn't work for a number of reasons. But all we did was sent in a couple hats, we got back a couple examples, and from there we were able to go and have the rest of our order process. Since then, we sold those hats to mostly family and friends who support what we're trying to do. And we're very excited about the fact that there's some interest in a female version of this hat, of which is now in production. I would say among all these things that I've just talked about, the one that I've probably been involved with the longest is the music. I've been a producer of hip hop and gospel R&B for a long time. I'm another kid that came through the 90s, so that whole era of music is something that I understand really well. Um, I have some vintage equipment that I use sometimes to reproduce the effect of some of the music that was done during that time. And there's other times where musically I veer away from the culture that I grew up in and do what is what will help a visual story. I can't tell you how I feel. By your stripes I'm healed. Said I'm not going back to the world. Seems that we need communication here. Just waiting here, done left the rear, right here. using audio to tell a visual story, almost like film scoring. Well, the most recent announcement that happened in the area of music was that we released a song called Can't Tell You. Stop moving, Lord, the devil got you. Never stop using all the tissues you got. Use your mind as a weapon, your spirit is a clock. Oh, I ain't even mean to drop. Bars on the verse, verse on the block. You could have just pressed stop, but here you are listening to the whole plot. You should have brought the whole shop. Books at the dollar store, dollar a pop, take them out, get a word. We want to thank everybody who 
promoted that song and we shared it for us gave us the confidence to just get it out there regardless of whether or not we can get it onto the major distribution platforms and we also um, were proud of the fact that we had the music video from, um, produced here all the production took place right here in this home everything from the animation to the recording of the video to the composition that was done on the keyboard to the laying down of the vocals everything that everything that you see in that video took place right here in this studio we're very proud and looking forward to another productive winter which is when we tend to focus a little bit more on music projects and we are definitely looking forward to our next one and last but not least for the select paid services that are attached to the devote brand um, those are primarily two areas one that my wife initiated which was the photography and that's where we join together and she does her photography and I'll do my videography and we typically combine for wedding projects. The other area of services that I that I personally do is auto cinematography. And so we just want to extend a special thank you to everybody who has honored our business processes our business practices hired us and that enables us to continue doing what we do i want to thank you for your time for watching this overview i want to thank you for your support and prayers stay devoted all the time and most of all stay encouraged in the lord god bless you god bless you and god bless you